hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today's wig is from city girl store on amazon this is a 13 by 4 150 percent density body wave wig in 22 inches this is what it looks like straight out of the bag the hair was very nice and soft and silky and it was packaged very well they also sent me a scarf a wig cap and a pair of lashes with my wig so to jump right into the customization of this wig, I wanted a skunk stripe um, in the front of my wig. So I just sectioned off like a square right right like in the center in the front and I just need like made the parts more neat just so that the color would just be like in one area. And this is what it looked like. After I did this section, I also sectioned off the back but I didn't show that on camera. I went in with my Clairol BW2 powder and 40 volume developer and I made like a very thick paste. You can actually make it thinner than this. Um, I just wanted to make it a little thicker so it wouldn't like be runny all over the place. And then I just saturated that section of hair. So um, what I do recommend is that you don't go too far down um, on your wig when you're doing the bleach. If you want to have like some dark root, if you don't want to have dark root, then you can definitely go all the way down to the root with the bleach. But I wanted, I wanted to um, ombre the color from dark root into the pink color, just so that there would be like dark root up against my skin. So I made sure to apply the bleach, and to get that ombre um, effect to where there wasn't like a harsh line, I just turned the brush sideways, and I did like light strokes to make that um, edge of the bleach you know kind of like uneven so that it would be so that it wouldn't be so harsh and it would just blend better um you can also kind of like comb the hair not comb like the bleach through the hair but just kind of like comb that line so that it's not as harsh you can also tease the hair um, in the opposite direction so that it will give you the same effect and after i washed out the bleach this is how my ombre looks so you can see that it's not like a harsh line i let the bleach sit on there for about 30 minutes and i got to like this um light brown color and i think that's why my color came out red more so than pink i don't recommend leaving the bleach on for too long but you should definitely leave it on long enough to get a much lighter blonde than this for the color that you want to dye my hair i used the adore in pink blush and i just um saturated that area of like the hair that I bleached I just saturated the whole area with the dye I only used one bottle and like I said I also bleached the back of the wig which I didn't show on camera because I just followed the same steps so I just sectioned the hair and made sure that dye saturated all of the strands of hair that I had bleached um, and then I went in and I massaged that dye in with my fingers because I just wanted to make sure that I had got every strand since I wasn't doing like the watercolor method and I just made sure to avoid getting the dye um, on the lace since I didn't spray like got to be on the lace or anything like that So this is how the color came out after I had like shampooed um, and conditioned the wig and as you can see it's more Red than pink. Well, it's pretty much red and not pink at all Honestly, um, if you want that pink color, you definitely have to bleach the hair much lighter than I did I still like how the color came out. Um, so I went on to continue installing the wig I also took the wig off um, before installing it just so that I could use this lace tint um, medium brown and I just sprayed that all over the lace. This color isn't like the color of my scalp, it's more so like the color of my skin tone and I wanted to try this out for the first time instead of using like powdered foundation like I normally do. And this method was fine. I feel like it did match my skin tone pretty well. This is what it looked like after I had sprayed all of it across the lace and then I put the wig back on. Um, and it made a big difference since the lace itself was kind of, you know, too light for my skin tone. Like I said, it, it matched my skin pretty well. So I really did like doing this and it wasn't like messy or anything like that. Also off camera, I did very lightly pluck the front of this wig. Um, I didn't want to pluck too much while it was off my head because I'm still kind of teaching myself how to pluck for my hairline. But even still, I was really feeling this skunk stripe. Like I really liked how it came out even though it wasn't the color that I intended it to be. I do also want to mention that um, you will have to customize this wig because it's very dense. Like it's definitely 150% density, um, but the hairline and like the parting space and everything like that, the hair is very dense. So you will have to plug this wig if you want to wear it. 
To start off with my install, I went in with my Evan adhesive spray and I sprayed that along my hairline. And I did about two to three layers of this and just I just sprayed it and blow dried it until it was tacky. And then I sprayed another layer on until I felt like that was enough layers. So I did about two to three. Once I was finished spraying on all my layers, I just pulled the wig down on top of the adhesive spray and I combed the hair back and kind of pressed the hair into the spray with my comb. And then after that, I just kind of blow dried it for a little bit before putting my elastic band on. So after having it on for about 15 minutes, I took off the elastic band and used my eyebrow razor to cut off my lace. And you want to be very careful when you do this, just so you make sure you don't like cut your forehead. And as you can see, as I'm cutting off the lace, like it's matching really well with my skin. I really liked how well like this wig melted. And I do like to leave a little bit of extra lace around the lowest points of my hairline, just because it helps for the, um, lace to stick to my skin better and then next i went in to do my baby hairs and so i just went ahead and pulled them out and cut them down with that same eyebrow razor before swooping them and for this install i used my wet line extreme gel to do my baby hairs and i just do them the same way i always do them after i cut them down i put the gel on top and then i just use my edge brush to swoop them into place so for half a path down styles, I like to tie my um, elastic band around my edges to just protect my baby hairs and to kind of prevent the wig from like moving while I pull on it to achieve the half a path down hairstyle. So the first thing I did for this hairstyle was separate the pieces that I wanted for my bang and I just wanted like two pieces right in the middle. So once I sectioned off that hair, I just braided it so that I would have it like sectioned off and out of the way. And I'm going to insert a picture of the um, style that I was going for. So the pink in the picture is the pink that I was trying to achieve. But like I said, we got red, so we're going to work with that. Also, I, I do want to point out that the frontal was um, a little on the thinner side. Like it was not as full root to tip so my bangs are going to be different from hers because it just it wasn't as full as i wanted it to be which is why i kind of went with the two bangs in the middle i think she only had like one bang over to the side so i kind of like improvised a little with this style so after i've got my bang section off i'm going to start working on the half of half down so i started by brushing the hair up into a ponytail and using mousse to help me like mold the ponytail and smooth out the hairs once I felt like it was smooth enough and I had enough hair in the ponytail, I went in with a rubber band just to, to secure the ponytail that I had made. I basically did like a loose ponytail for the first one just to get all the hairs kind of in place. And then after the first ponytail, I smoothed and combed the hairs upward to get it to look a little bit more neat. I am going for like a messy hairstyle, but I didn't want it to look like sloppy messy if that makes sense um so i loosened the first ponytail like the rubber band and then i went in with a second rubber band you definitely don't have to do it like this um if you get it right on the first try then perfect but i kept getting i kept redoing the ponytail until i got like the ponytail that i wanted so you're gonna see me do this about three or four times um because i just i prefer for the top part or the I don't even know what to call it but I'll like insert like an arrow I prefer for it to be like very smooth and neat in that area and then the ponytail itself I want it to be messy so I just kept doing that until I got like the neatness that I wanted for a few different reasons I didn't use all of the hair from ear to ear and put it into the half a path down this wig didn't have like a full lace frontal it was a lace front so there wasn't as much lace to work with and I wanted to make sure that the hair was still going to cover like the tracks and everything it also um 
did not fit me ear to ear once i got the ponytail that i wanted i took a piece of hair from the back of the ponytail to wrap around the base of the ponytail for a more neater look and then i pinned the remaining hair into place with a bobby pin i sprayed adhesive spray onto the band um, that i had just created and i blow dried that until it was dry i like to do this step just because it makes my ponytail sit up a little higher and it just kind of just makes the ponytail just look a lot nicer and just not so flat and bland. So now that I'm finished with my ponytail, I'm going to go ahead and unbraid my bangs and start working on those. I went ahead and separated them in the middle and then I kind of hot combed them off to the sides so that they would sit or lay around my eyes and not just like directly on top of them. And at this point, like, my arms were tired and I was in distress because I just knew that this this was not a good wig to do the style with. Like, it was still a nice, affordable wig, but y'all, if I looked a little agitated, it's because I have been doing this for, like, a really long time. And it would just be better to work with a wig that has more parting space. So I used my flat iron to curl the bangs and then I just kept hot combing them over to the sides until I got the look that I wanted. And again, I really want to say that I like how soft this hair was and I like how it curled. Like it just held the curl really well in my opinion. Um, I, I was able to flat iron curl it so like easily and I was like basically trying to like curl it and tease it until I got like that messy style. And the hair itself was like so easy to work with. I think this would have been um, so cute in the middle part. I actually did put it in the middle part um, after I took this style down. And the middle part with the skunk stripe, it was really given, but that's irrelevant to this. So I continued to curl the top half of the ponytail and then I started to curl like the bottom half with a flat iron, but then I was like, it was, it wasn't giving because the hair was like all one length. So I used my razor comb to add layers and then I went back in and curled the hair with my curling iron. And I like the barrel curls much better with the layers. Um, but in the inspiration photo, like her hair was kind of like straight, but then like it had like loose curls. And so I don't know, I, w I wasn't really sure. Like I wanted to do the style that she had, but then I also kind of wanted to make it my own since things weren't going exactly as planned. So once I finished curling the hair, I went on to try to like tease the hair and just kind of like, I like brushed it towards the root to like make it stand up. Y'all be weak in the knees, stand up! Stand up! But it was like not, I don't know, like I don't usually like tease my hair. So I felt like it was just unnecessarily like tangling it, but it was giving me the messy look. And I guess it was like giving it volume but I'm just not a big fan of like teasing my hair because who want like I, like I am not used to just deliberately making my hair like messy so this was like I was like struggling because it's like I would like t like tangle tease the hair and like tangle the hair but then like I would fix it but eventually like I just ended up leaving it like this because I mean I did still like how it looked like it didn't have to be as messy as the inspo pick and then to define my part, uh, the part that's in between my bangs, I went in with like some um, spray that was like the black brown spray. And then to define it even more, I went in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. And I kind of just put that on my part. So you guys, this is the finished look. I really like how it came out, even though it didn't go as planned and even though this hairstyle wore me out i really liked this wig i do wish that it had more parting space but the hair itself is beautiful it's very soft i did experience some shedding but i think that's because of me bleaching the hair to get this color but even still like the hair was still like soft bouncy and like shiny and it was also true to length and it was definitely 150 percent density I just would keep in mind that the frontal was a little bit on the thinner side like it wasn't full root to end um, and it didn't have as much parting space but I was still able to ch achieve such a cute style with this wig and with it being so affordable it was still in my opinion pretty good quality definitely make sure you guys check out city girl hair on Amazon 
I will leave all the information and the link to this wig in the description box below. So make sure you check that out before you leave. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.